What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel of Absolute Rebuilds. Today we're going to work on the boat again. We will continue with the engine today. So let's get our hands dirty and get that V8 back together. Okay guys, what we're going to do now is fill her up with oil, sprinkle oil nicely everywhere and then prime the complete oil system so she will be ready to fire in the near future. Okay, so what we're going to do now is prime the complete engine with this small tool. This tool goes inside the block onto the drive shaft of the oil pump. Uh, I think you can also do it with a, with a ball pan or something like that. But for, I think it's only 10 bucks, you got this tool and it makes things a lot easier. And don't forget your pressure sensor because it's going to be a mess otherwise. Okay guys, so we primed the complete engine, bleeded all the push rods. So if I can give you one tip guys, use a really strong drill because it takes some power to turn it all around and it takes a lot of time to bleed every single one of them. Okay, so we primed the engine, so now it's time to install the intake manifold. Okay, so we got the intake manifold and the valve covers fitted. The next thing what we're going to do is install the motor mount, put her in the lift, make a nice engine stand because the block is getting a bit too heavy for our motor mount right now. Then it's now time to install the fuel pump, the water pump and install the thermostat and the thermostat housing as well. And when you're installing the fuel pump, don't forget your fuel pump stick. Okay guys, so we're going to install the thermostat housing and just on build for on forehand we wanted to throw in a new thermostat because this one looks a bit old. So what you want to do is turn it over 180 and then you can simply hammer this copper thing out and then the thermostat comes loose. So the other way around you get your o-ring, throw it in there, then get your new thermostat it also and then as last get your brass ring to hold the thermostat in place easy does it and of course your lid
Okay guys, so we installed the inlet manifold, the thermostat with the thermostat housing, the water pump and pulleys. We also installed the engine mounts as well. What we're going to do now is get a pallet and make our own engine stand because our engine stand now is really struggling a little bit. So we want to make one from wood on a pallet so we can have this engine fired up soon. Okay guys, so what we're going to do now is throw on the flywheel and throw on the bell housing so we can make our engine stand. So we got the flywheel, the engine coupler and the bell housing installed, so it's time for the starter motor now. Okay, so I installed the spark plugs and as you can see they are in a very funny place and due to this inlet manifold you cannot access them uh, with the socket so you have to do it manually with this old wrench so it's very fun once the engine is installed inside the boat. So now that's done, it's time to rebuild the car.
Okay guys, so what we have here is a stock intake and we got an Edelbrock high performance carburetor. So if you want to run this setup, you will need this adapter plate. You can just buy it anywhere so you can make the setup run great. Okay guys, so unfortunately we got a very old ignition system. We were missing quite some parts and unfortunately we cannot order any of those parts. So what we decided to do is get ourselves a Sierra upgrade kit that will replace the complete old ignition system and go ahead with some new electronic ignition. Brand new OEM starter is not working guys. Unfortunately there's something wrong with our starter motor. She doesn't want to turn over. So unfortunately we need to figure that out. So hopefully in our next episode the engine will run and we can go on with our boat. So with that being said guys this is the end of this video. If you like our videos make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below. And also make sure that your post notifications are on as well. As always thanks for watching and hopefully see you guys in our next video. Catch me howling at the moon